Now, the Kashmiri Hindu community has been demanding justice for the atrocities that uh, were committed against them almost three and a half decades ago in Jammu and Kashmir. Now, nearly 33 years after the retired judge, Justice Neelkan Ganju, was shot dead by terrorists, the state investigation agency in Jammu and Kashmir on Monday sought information from the general public to unearth a larger criminal conspiracy behind that particular killing. After 33 years, the SI has started investigating the killing of Neelkant Ganju, a retired judge who was killed back in 1989 in Hari Singh High Street Market area of Srinagar. This is the oldest market of Srinagar city and here, back in 1989, uh, judge Neelkant Ganju was in fact uh, arriving here in this market. He was surrounded by Jumain Kashmir Liberation Front terrorists and shot from very close range. He was in fact killed uh, here in this particular market. Why uh, Neelkant Ganju was killed? Because because he had presided over a trial against the Jammu and Kashmir Liberation Front founder Mohammad Makbul Bhatt in the case of Amar Chand, a police officer who was killed in 1960s. In 1966, uh, Justice Ganju, in fact, awarded death sentence to Mohammad Makbul Bhatt, and the same was upheld by the Supreme Court in 1982. Seven years after the uh, death of Mohammad Makbul Bhatt, Neelkat Ganju was surrounded here in this particular market and killed. So after 33 years, the SI in fact has started investigating the case. They have assured that all those people who will be sharing information with the SI, their identities will be protected and the, those who will share the useful information related to the killing will be awarded. Now, as my colleague just mentioned, uh, during that uh, sequence, um, Justice Ganju had sentenced Jammu and Kashmir Liberation Front founder, Mohammed Bakbul Bhatt, to death uh, in the 1960s in a case that was related to the murder of a police officer, Amar Chand. And Justice Ganju was shot dead in broad daylight by terrorists in November 1989 and was among uh, the prominent Kashmiri Hindus to be targeted at that point in time. It's government recent decision to revisit the 1989-90 Kashmiri Hindu genocide cases after 34 years evokes a mix of emotions for me. This decision has reignited in me a sense of optimism and for my community as well. This optimism had waned over the past 33 years as we longed for people to finally hear, acknowledge, empathize, and grasp the ordeal that we Kashmiri Hindus have gone through. Despite the pain of reopening the old wounds, the underlying hope remains that justice will prevail. Now, the Kashmiri Hindu community welcomed uh, the SI probe in this particular matter in the hope of finally, after having waited so long, getting justice for the genocide on the Hindu community. Justice Neelkan Ganju was killed for doing his duty. The family of a judge who delivered justice to thousands of Kashmiri families have been awaiting justice for 33 years. Every successive state government in Jammu and Kashmir found a way to scuttle the investigation and deny justice. Thankfully, the UT administration has now woken up and decided to hand over the case to state investigating agency. I hope that Justice Kanju case will not be an exception and SI will investigate cases of murders and rapes that have happened to Kashmiri Pandits over the years.